God bless you in Jesus' name. Welcome. God bless you. Amen. Christo our bariki sana. Amen. God bless you. Tuketi sasa. Tuketi. Wale abamu naingia, muingi haraka na mketi na mbarikiwe. Tuko katika ibada ambao tuna Holy Communion na mungu amekusudia kutubariki. Amen. Naona teenagers and pre-youth they are joining us. Uh, ingieni haraka diyo mwenafasi ata nyinyi kupata baraka zenu. Katika Mathayo 28 Katika meza ya buwana leo Semeni leo God is changing your direction Wapendwa na wabieni mungu Anapindua Ile jio likuwa mechukua Anaipindua Na otaingia kwa hile mechagua Kwa sababu mungu amenionyesha Watu wengi Amen Iyo duko na uza Hauzi kwa sababu ulikuwa na penda Ni pesa hukuwa nazo Ulikuwa na taka mtoto wako Aende shure mzuri Kani imaji mtoto wako aliitwa Lenana akaitwa Dika High School akaitwa Kagumo Boys Kwa maana hukuwa na pesa Ukambreka day school Hapa chini sijui Ni uhuru au ni hapa Mudhurua Ah, Jesus is changing my direction. Jesus is changing my direction. Hallelujah. Kuna maisha na isho sabi ya mandeni. Yani umeishi maisha bo siyo nombo. Una mandeni, mandeni until you live up normally. Satan must be destroyed today. The blood of Christ is at work. Hallelujah. I don't know why. Munga ananionyesha kwamba majority yenu you don't live your life. It's not real. It's not real. Ulifungua biashara ukafunga. Si kupenda kwako. Forces ambazo hazieleweki ziri kusukuma. Na maisha bao naishi sasa Si maisha katika And that's why Niliambia watu katika meza ya bwana leo What we have is healing and restoration Bwana kuponye kwanza Arafa kurejeshe In Jesus name Hallelujah Na mungu wa sikia obilangu Now wapendwa Unapata kwamba Amen. Wengine guvu zao za kupigana vita vya kiroho. Ulikuwa bwana amekuchagua kama askari. Ulikuwa bwana amekuchagua kama askari but you failed to take the weapons. Unataka kukaa tu chini, unataka kukaa tu na amani nyingine, we want to withdraw lakini Mungu anataka katika hii dunia uwe pale mbele kwa vita. Katika your family, uwe pare bere kwa vita. Ungangane oseme sasa. Wengine munifuate ni waonyeshe vile dunia hii yatakiwa kutuinamia. God raised you to be a leader. To be a nama bearer. God raised you. Iyo nyumba, hawa watoto meza. Uambie ni fuateni ni tawaudia jia. But these days, you never lead. You never lead. Uko hapa umelala. Paka watoto nauliza. Daddy, mom, unafikiriaje kuzuma soma yangu. Wewe di ukikuwa na mapia sasa. Sikiza, niongoze. Kire kirifanya ule daktari. Eh? Ben Kaso. Hawa wanaonaka yo video yake. Ben Kaso walikuwa napata E. F. Kwa za siyo ni F. F. Failure. Eh? Kwa klasi yao ilikuwa na wazungu Yeye ni mtu mweusi kule Amerika Watu wa geulizwa How are you? Anasema yes 
kuna moja amepata a failure wanasema of course Ben Castle sasa kina kechapa hao na ngumi nini bwana lakini mama yake was a leader anambia Ben Castle you are intelligent you are intelligent anachukua hiyo f anaweka this is not yours go back to class Ben Castle now is the most richest and well performing doctor in the world akasema f f another doctor is somebody akona a failure wali poza ben kasa no 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 not not him now kukaka kidogo wakabo somebody has a wakataja uda muzungu amezoea kutanja sema no it is ben kasa jesus is lord hallelujah hallelujah wewe ni mama badala ya kukaa kama mama wa Ben Castle unakaa nyuma wa watoto chochote wataleta mtoto akienda shule kuna mwalimu kule ni kama satanist anamuita wewe mtoto mjinga ni nini unakaa nyuma ya mtoto hapana wakati umekuwa mwambia kaa nyuma yangu i am now leading i am the prophet i am now the mother but prophet Nimesema ulikaa kwa tubo yangu nine months I was reasoning to God ulipokuwa kwa tubo yangu kwa maana Mungu anasema I knew you before I formed you Na kabla hujazaliwa I chose you I tell you a son kabla hujazaliwa Mungu aliyekuchagua alinenenea kabla hujatoka Ah Jesus bless this church My God anoint this church in Jesus name. Are you ready for blessings? Are you ready? Unajua wengine Leo nikuuliza hapa ni nani katika ikanisa umewahi kaa kwa street? Somebody came around kabia sa toka kwa street. Nani kwa ikanisa? Hello praise God. Wazazi wako walikufa ukiwa na miaka labda kumi huko waona. Huwezi kama miaka yote ukituambia walikufa hata kama wangekaa wakikuwa the, the issue is watakiwa upokee guvu maradufu. Ufanye arusi kubwa na wewe uinue family. Na waambie hiyo family hamuna babu, hamuna uh, uh, grandmother but the truth is niko hai na mtaishi in jesus name do you know kwa nini watu wengine wanamkaa saa tisa kuna ndugu aliniambia kwa ikanisa kwa hapa tangu awe kijana hajawahi amuka leta than saa kumi usiku na ni desturi yake awe kazini saa kumi na moja. akaniambia bishop mimi nilikuwa hoka lakini desturi yangu ya kuamka mapema ndio nilifungulia biashara niliona nuru akaona watu wanatoka bali wanatoka bali hapa mashako wanataka vitu wanunue warudi kutoka bugoma wanunue warudi bugoma kutoka busia wanunue warudi akaangalia hiyo soko akaanza kuweka ah anyapia sasa ikifika saa 12 yeye anasoma gazeti saa pili kwa sababu already ameuza na amelipwa naikamfungulia marafiki we we naikampatia marafiki ambao huamka mapema kama yeye so yaambia alikuwa na shilingi tatu marafiki waliona bidika akaitiwa na ni bypass akanunua na hata bypass yuko imejekwa lakini you can imagine alinunua plot sita na akada <laughs> about leo leo kienda hiyo size 100 by 100 wanauza siju 12 15 million 20 million na hiyo area mashaba ilikuwa eka moja na robo ako na kadhaa atolimwambia wewe siku tatu nunue hii bei itaongezeka itaongezeka hii hii kama hii kama pata kapi 1020 hii nyingine 1030 hii nyingine ah la 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 wacha bypass ijengwe bwana kwa maana aliamka mapema akili kaamka amen na akawa na marafiki wa aina hiyo 
ambao namwambia tuliona kitu Have you ever known watoto wetu siku hizi anaamka amechelewa marafiki zake ni watoto wengine ni baba hati walevi wanao wale dadada ovyo ovyo hatutaki hiyo tabia tunataka hiyo naamka hiyo saa ikiwezekana holiday ena naye kazini waacha aone what you are doing amen mwambie leo utauza hizi viatu naondipe atie pesa hapa ndio kutatoka pocket money na mwambie alafu usimkemee mutabilie die aone hiyo anafanya is prophetic in jesus name haleluya mko tayari kubarikiwa niambieni na, na msindrakanye vile unakaa hakika are you sure unaishi kabisa bila bila tatakuwa kuishi Simu niambia na kichwa hivi 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 au hivi hivi hapana <laughs> that's why mnakuja kanisa bible nasema na watu kutoka decapolis miji kumi wakaleta watu miguni mwa Yesu waliopoza walio na mapepo walio pagawa hawajiwezi na akawaponya wote muko miguni mwa Yesu leo na Mungu wangu anisikie kwa meza ya Bwana leo katika jina la Yesu niende speed zake Bwana niende ze speed zake leo nataka kuambia mtafuka akili leo kuna anointing ambao itakuwa nuru ya akili Mungu hata ruhusu uradue tunaangusha kila ujinga na kila ngome na giza ya akili ha, leo mimi tu kama mjui shetani siku hizi hakuingii atusikie mepagawa kile anafanya ni kufunga inaitwa the demon of siege siege ni hivi haya ukiangalia katika second kings chapter 6 kuna muji ulikuwa anaitwa Samaria mfalme anaitwa Ben Haddad barabara zote zilikuwa zinaenda huo muji akafuga zote barabara ya kuleta ugale barabara ya kuleta omena barabara ya kuleta nini akafunga zote the demons of siege aka make sure hakuna tu naingia bible nasema kulikuwa na jaa sio jaa riu ni jaa imesababishwa watu wakakula mafi ya jiwa na vichwa vya punda na sasa hawoni pepo haija kuingia lakini inakaa pahali inafungaji ya zako unakuta katika akili yako ule ufahamu wani wapi Mungu ameamuru baraka zako huna 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 unaangalia tu hivi unaona tu hewa sijui hewa nyumba hujui muzidanganyo na ene body Hakuna mtu aliubwa aangalie dunia hii akose ni wapi Bwana amemuita akae. Hatukubwa hivyo na amen. Hiyo haiaye usijifanye wakati umefika uambie damu ya Yesu ingie kwa akili. Iondoe kila giza na utumwa. Nataka kuona vizuri. Wakati umefika Bwana aniguze tena. Haleluya. <laughs> Hebu nikwambie. Una kwa mkati hapo? Unazeeka. Sio hii saa inaenda. Haisimami. Wewe umeketi? Sio umeketi. Lakini inaenda. Kuto kukimbia kwako hakuzui miaka, miezi na siku zisonge. Na haizui uzeeke. Si unaona wakahulia vile sasa miaka inaenda. Na ule hao bereria. Eh. Hey. Siku hizi nimeanza kusikia watu wengi wanaumwa na mgongo. We are in tear. Ukiuliza watu hapa ni nani mgongo na umaga hapa huwezi labda nusu ya kanisa. Wamodhodi wito. Eh? Si kule to takeja sasa wambia sasa na hii kazi naonekana miaka 2 ijayo. Siwezi. Si ndio? Mgongo na umma tu, na umma tu kama hutaweza jameni praise god kama hutaweza dhaso unaona watu wengine wanataka gym na mtu anataka gym na miaka 
anaruka mara tano. Yaani kukataa uzee kwa sababu sasa uzee si mbaya saa, si mzuri. Kuseeka. <laughs> wewe si kuzuri, wewe zeeka kivi yako. Mimi kama sasa ni leo nimenyoa. Tena nilikuwa na nyoni nyingi sana ya white. Hello. Do you know kama kuna kitu cha kwa kufanya uogope ni mazishi. Vile nimezika watu wengi. Njoo nimezika watu wengi sana. Tago 1982. No, 83 huko. Unaana Mungu tunamweka huyu. Tunamweka huyu. Tunangoja tafufuka. The reality kwamba that sister that brother will never come back to earth. Hata rudi. Kitu kingine kinaongofia ni kuzeeka bwana. Ukweli ni kwamba hutawahi rudi tini ja. Upewe chance ya kuruka hivi. Na ukizeeka there's there's only area Mungu afanye mujiza. Akwambie now in the name of Jesus rudi kwa kijana hiyo mujiza kuna na hata wewe namna gani utayaoba hapo uzeeke kwa magoti sikiza <laughs> bwana asifiwe ukigoka miaka yako 60 ni 60 na kile kinashangaza mungu pia hukubali umezeeka badala kukuambia mama makubwa anakuambia gojea nitaambia kijana yako Maisha hii isipochungwa ina uongo fulani ambao you need to we need to overcome. Hmm. Bwana asiwe sana. Bwana inuliwe. Siku hizi kumeanza kutokea nyumbani watu ambao wali akifika miaka ya teenager ni pobe na bangi bagi bagi na vuta na vuta na vuta. They say the other day bangi hizo drugs zinaingia sehemu ya akili a boy na beba taranta za mtu na uwezo wa concentration agaria mtu hapa amekuja drugs hawezi anza kitu hivi amalize hiyo akili iliharibiwa hataki kuchoka hataki kuwa rafiki ya watu walio na akili nao kimbia anataka watu wa kucheka ovyo ovyo watu wa na akili No siko usi, haya asipookoka damu ya Yesu mosha kabisa utaona hawa watu hata kwa familia yenu anakaa nyumbani na ngombe kama mna ngombe na anakaa hapo na mama yako baba yako haoni jambo ku kijana wa miaka 15 kijana wa miaka 20 akadhia mongedho na tuzee tu alitaya dugu wako wa miaka 25 wana wazee wageshagi eh wa miaka 8 wanaokaa habari wapate jua pahali anakuwa katikati yao tabia yake ni ya miaka 8 halo <laughs> ukipelekewa <laughs> na kuoa anajua kuoa na sex anajua akizaa watoto ninyi anazalia nyinyi mko Nairobi na mama yako anambia we garoia Eh, saidia ni ndugu yenu amesa. Hmm? Weza kuta kule keshaki. Babu yako your, your dad. Eh? Ameamuzaa sana. <laughs> Kuna msemo ya, ya bishop. Kijana yangu the only thing anafanya huku ni kujaza dunia na jina yangu. Akikaka anasikia. Msana fulani amezaaje? <laughs> Kaigua. Hiyo kijana ameitwa Mwangi. Ah, mwangi 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 Hello na wakizaliwa babu anaitizwa fees hiyo maisha si yetu sisi hiyo sio yetu unless uchague tutaachana Hallelujah katika meza ya Bwana leo kwa nguvu za Kristo aliye hai Amen tunaenda kubadilika <coughs> Hallelujah that's why mnaona Message ya msaraba ni message ya kupitwa mtu. Katika Matthew 28 Hata sabato ilipokwisha ikipabazuka siku ya kwanza ya juma Mary Magdalene Ha 
Haya. Aha, let me get to hapa. Sijui kama kuna sanitizer. Aha. Is here, is here, is here. Haya. Mere Magdarin na Mariamu yule wa pili walikwenda kulitazama kaburi. Is it okay? Na tazama palikuwa na tetemeko kubwa la inchi kwa sababu malaika wa Bwana alishuka kutoka biguni akaja akalifingisha lile jiwe akalikalia. There's what we call the forces of resistance. Kristo alisurubishwa Friday. Saturday kaburi apo kaburi na jiwe limewekwa. Haya, Sunday asubuhi kulikuwa na mambo mawili. Mambo iliyofanyika Friday. Na wakaona hakika mwenye alifufua Lazaro. Aha. Na mwenye alifufua Jairus, kijana wa Jairus. Die sasa yeye ameuawa na ako kabulini na amezikwa haleluya watu sikizeni there are forces zikitenda kazi they are so threatening kwa ba zinafanya usahau truth and one of the thing god you restore katika moyo wa bishop na wako ni truth wewe ni mtu mungu alinenea lakini baada ya kunenewa the forces attacks stops the kustua ukasao truth go back to truth hallelujah hallelujah kuna hiyo tactic ya kwamba lakini nao ukisoma katika Matthew kuna wakati Yesu aliambiwa nafuzi tuvuke ngapo ile immediate walipoanza kuvuka the ruba upepo ukapika chombo badara ya kwenda hivi kikaza kuzama wanafuzi wakarazimika kuamini wanazama forces ambazo husababisha usahau how they weaken your faith in the truth but i want to say something hallelujah siku ya tatu kaburi la yesu ambalo liliachwa friday Anybody aliye mwangalia Yesu msarabani akimwaga damu na anybody aliye mwangalia Yesu akizikwa na anybody aliye tazama kaburi especially Saturday they all give up walio kwa kienda emao wanaenda Petero akasema nimerudia nyavu za zangu nami nasema leo wapendwa don't worry about the threats naomba Bwana alete nguvu forces forces za kushinda the threat. Amen. Mary Magdalene walipoenda kutazama kaburi. Na kwambia the wait, the grave was threatening. Why? Jiwe liko juu ya kaburi. Unajua sure Jesus anaoza hapo ndani. Lakini nashukuru Bwana kwa sababu Kaburi likuwa limekaa hivyo limewekwa jiwe limewekwa siu na ninalidwa bai mnasema kukatokea tetemeko la ardhi malaika akaliondoa jiwe na akalikalia hey, hey, ile sura ya defeat ikaanza kubadilika ikaonekana sasa kuna mambo inatendeka ya kuonyesha kwamba kaburi haina nguvu kaburi haina uwezo there is hope there's some power working around the grave there's some power working around the grave there's some power working around the grave na ile jiwe kubwa liliwekwa two things mjua wakati Yesu alizikwa kuna watu waliopa pirato ruhusa waweke jiwe kwa mlango wa kaburi na waweke kitu kama cement wafue kabisa na batu wapewe askari walide 
Now that's why on the resurrection day, two things were dealt with. Mere wakiona. Jiwe na soldiers. Hallelujah! Maraika kalivingilisha. Akalikalia. Na walidakaburi wakazimia. Natao kuambia around that area ambao na honor you are hopeless. We are releasing some power to work on that grave. Iyo kaburi na family something is working now. Na tunayata sasa kusema guvu ilio tenda kazi ikaondawa jiwe. Guvu ilio fufua kristo sasa itembele an area in your life aba inonekana kama kaburi na defeat. Do you believe so? Amen. Na any time Bwana anatufun Bwana ananena kwa ijiri Mungu utumia vitu bili kitu cha kusikika na kitu cha kuonekana Mary waliona malaika akiliodoa jiwe na kalikalia hiyo ni kitu cha kuona baada ya kuona kukaja kuogeleshwa anejo came akasema msimtafute aliye hai kaburini amefufuka kama aliyosema i want to declare the two signs may god release a sign ya kuonekana na after that aonge kuhusu hiyo area yako ambayo imejaa kushidwa simameni tumwabudu bwana just start now inua mikono yako jipeane kwa bwana leo tunapojiandaa kupokea meza ya bwana Hallelujah. Just do it, do it, do it very quickly. Father, in the name of Jesus, ninaomba nikiwa bere ya ikanisa, ino mkono hivi, huyu dada na huyu dugu, ambaye alifanyua madharao, akafanyua pigo, mpaka aka with the draw, kukawa katika maisha kuna kaburi ya maono kuna kaburi ya future ya family alizika future ya family iliisha kuna kaburi ya business kwamba alisema sitawahi sitawahi sit no sioni nikianza kuna kaburi ya kusema sioni kama kwetu kuna mtu ataoa kuna kaburi ya kusema huoni kana kwamba waweza vuka ngambo ulivi i want to release the power of resurrection of those graves in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus chochote kilifanywa dio maono yako ikagamie Dio moyo wako uzimie nao Mungu afanye reverse aondoe hiyo jiwe aondoe walida kaburi aondoe mapepo ya giza aondoe maneno yote ya laana nguvu za ufufuo zianze kazi nguvu za ufufuo zianze kazi nguvu za ufufuo zianze kazi tapasa karabo zanda Jesus Christ Nataka ufuge macho yako ndio mkono juu. Tafakari maisha yako. Na usijifanye tafakari. Tafakari maisha yako. Usiangalie mtu, staki mtu anaangalia mwingine. Tafakari, just go through, survey your life. Uone ni wapi hiyo roho ya defeat inanena. Wanafunzi ndio warudie nyavu zao waliangalia kaburi wakasema mfalme wetu hana ameenda watu ndio warudie mao petero akasema narudia nyavu zangu ni kaburi aliyakasema there's no hope kuliteto wa mambo ambao ukiatazama unasahau yesu alisema tafufuka mungu wangu nataka hiyo hiyo yaangalie na kwa imani inene nene hiyo area the power of resurrection. Mwambie Bwana hiyo nguvu naitaka sasa. 
kwa hiyo area yangu hiyo area hiyo area ambayo inakaa kana kwamba there's no hope mwambie bwana ngota pike tepo so kene masaya maikota rabosa dama robi kasike dema hata wale abonu wanafuzi vijana wetu nenea hiyo performance nenea nenea mama yako nenea family nenea nena nena kabisa in the name of the lord shanda makata rabo zindima my god is able 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 hallelujah endelea kabisa endelea 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Endelea kabisa usikubali kuzimia. Usikubali kuzimia. Mungu tunamtumikia ni wa haki. Bwana tunayemuinua ni wa milele. Mfalme tunayemwenamia. Hallelujah. Hebu tuombe. Kwa maana Nalipokea kwa Bwana nilio hapa nanyi ya kwamba Bwana Yesu usiku ule aliotolewa alitoa mkate naye akisha kushukuru akaumega akasema huu ndio mwili wangu ulio kwa ajili yenu fanyeni hivi kwa ukubusho wangu oh god huu ni mwili wako ulitolewa ukajitwika huzuni na magonjwa yetu na katika ushirika wa mwili huu bwana kutokea ushindi leo in christ we pray baada ya kukula kristo akakitoa kikombe akasema kikombe hiki ni agano jipya katika damu yangu fanyeni hivi kila mnywapo kwa ukubusho wangu Jesus niko bere ya confirm let the blood of Christ take over mahali ambapo ni sisi tulionekana hii damu itangulie mahali ambapo watu hawakufahamu ni nini na nani alituita utokee bwana ijulikane wewe alituita na katika damu ya Yesu tukobolewe leo baba tumekusanyika bere zako we love you nataka hasa kwa dakika moja ujiadai kupokea mwili na damu yako just talk to god with your heart just talk to god talk to god bwana wa mabana mungu wangu mfalme wa utukufu mungu usiyeshindwa kibilio la uhai wangu bwana wa uweza wewe aboni moto ulao oh na mashata babo sanda na nena uku wako katika nafsi yote iliyo hapa na nena uponyanji katika mwili wote ulio hapa na nena bwana mlango ufunguke wa mambo makuu uliowekea ikanisa na ulioniwekea katika jina la Yesu na omba bwana ikajulikane utukufu wako umeshuka kama ulivyo hai milele ukajulikane hivyo ninaangamiza ibada za shetani naangamiza mawazo yote ya giza ninaangamiza any evil feeling and foundation na sasa kwa damu ya Yesu tenda makubwa bwana nataka sasa tuanze kupokea na wale wanatembea hata watu wa protocol mtulie God you bless you. Wa, kuna pale, kuna hapa, kuna pale, pale kwa ile mlango na nyuma. U, na ukichukua uketi na uombe. Na kama hujaokoka usichukue. Kama hujaokoka tafadhali please uje hapa nikusaidie uokoke uokoke. Na umjue Bwana wa Bwana. Tuendelee sasa. The Lord bless your life. The Lord bless your life. The Lord bless your life. To endre na watu endre usiangalie mwingine na usifikirie mwingine mtazame Bwana na nguvu zake na uombe sana. Wakati kama huu ndio mtu huomba zaidi. Na ukijua kabisa hujaokoka, hujaacha dhambi, usichukue lakini usiende. Kuja hapa mbele, upige magoti hapa, umwambie Bwana ungetaka 
akusamehe akuokoe na uweke covenant ya kudumu na Mungu usiwe kigagau tena usiwe kigagau tena and the lord you bless you 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 ama shata bazika i i i know the lord is here the lord is powerful the lord is able his blood is able in jesus name and there you make sure you are praying 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 jesus jesus is lord jesus is lord jesus christ is lord twendre twendre tu twendre tu jesus is lord my god is able hallelujah Oh, Bashata Raba Boshida Raba Bozanda, Sheketene Mazia Rakata Kababo, Shekere Mazia Rakota Masita Nama Boshanda, O Riakata Kunima, Nina Chiri and Guzabana, Nina Chiri and Moto Abana, Nina Chiri and Guzako Bana, Nachiri and Konoako of Iki, Mahari and Bapo, Dani Dani Kataka. Kira pahari pa ikanisa Nina achilia utukufu wako Nina achilia breakthrough Mambo yote ambo imekwama Nina achilia breakthrough yako bana The Lord is able Piga magoti hapa Nataka uoge na mungu Piga magoti hapa uombe Yes Kuja tu wea ba huja okoka Kuja upate musamaha wa dhambi Katika jina la yesu Muse omba Ombe ya maisha yako Mwabia buwana Akuokoe leo na kuondoe katika mapigo na kuondoe katika machafu akutakase na kurehemu leo ongea na muka kabisa ongea na bwana na mabwana haleluya asante bwana asante mungu wa rehema jina la bwana libarikiwe 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 haleluya Asante mungu wetu asante 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 Tuendre tuendre kabisa Ukijua una dhambi jo uokoke wokovu wa mungu na usiwe na msaha Sio wokovu wa watu wenu sio